The book of Job is the oldest book in the Bible. It was the first book of the Bible ever written. Moses, when he came out of Egypt, brought Israel out of Egypt, he had the book of Job in his hands. I've said to people many times, when you read Genesis chapter 1 about creation, you need to remember that the people Moses wrote Genesis chapter 1 for, the nation Israel, they already knew more about creation than is in Genesis 1. There is more about creation itself in the book of Job than any other single book of the Bible. And the people that Moses wrote Genesis for already knew all of those details. What Genesis 1 is, is, a, is an outline of the purpose and, and, and flow of, of, of the creation, not all the information there is about creation. Because the book of Job is, a, is one of the books in the Bible that provides a lot of that information. We'll see why in a minute. When Moses brought Israel out of Egypt, he actually quoted the book of Job to them. Look with me at Deuteronomy chapter 30. It shall come to pass when all these things are, are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, thou shalt call them to mind among all the, na the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. Thou shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that he commanded thee this day, thou and thy children, and all, with all thine heart and with all thy soul. That, thou, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations whether the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. And you go on. Moses is telling Israel that after, now they've been through the wilderness now, and Moses is fixing to die, and they're going to go in under, into the promised land under Joshua. So you're 40 years after the exodus from Egypt here, and they've had all the experiences of the rebellion in the wilderness, and he says, you know, there's some things going to come on you because of, of your failure, and yet when you turn to the Lord, he will turn your captivity, and he will do all the things he promised you. 